channel and if you're new to my channel hi my name is Deepika and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel now in my today's video I am going to be doing a look based on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill vault collection I know there have been a lot of controversies about this palette not being swatched well etc but I personally did swatch this on my hand and I will have a post up on Instagram so make sure you follow me there um, the matte shades were okay they didn't swatch very well and definitely not the same quality as the original Jaclyn Hill palette the shimmer shades were pretty good but I really wanted to give it a try and wanted to put it to test and see how it does on my eyes because sometimes swatches are really not the same as they do on your eyes so yeah I wanted to see how it is performing and yeah if you want to know how it performs and what my thoughts are about this palette then please keep on watching Okay, so these are the four palettes that I got from the Jaclyn Hill palette and it came oh, and it did come in a vault like this and this is the original packaging. So it is the Armed and Gorgeous Dark Magic Ring the Alarm and Bling Boss. Now I ordered all these palettes online from the Morphe store so I don't know. Some people have received the V2 version. I don't know if it's version 2. But I don't know what the controversy is. I'm just going to put it to test and see. So I'm going to try and use all the palettes at the same time. Try and mix and see, you know, shades here and there. Yeah, my eyes are really dark at this point because I've been filming videos continuously for the past two days. Because I really have a lot of content in mind that I want to film. Um, and, you know, I have so many palettes and products that I want to like really showcase and they've been just lying over there in my closet and I really want to get it out as soon as possible. I just use the Kiko Milano corrector and I put it on my eyes. It's just kind of going to act like a primer. The shades in all these palettes are really gorgeous but I don't know what I want to use today. So I'm going to first start off with taking this shade from the ring the alarm palette i'm going to take this shade called as rush and i'm going to put that all over my lid to kind of set the base so i'm just going to put that all over my lid because i want to set the primer then i'm going to take this shade called as agent from the uh, armed and gorgeous palette and i am going to put that again all over my lid i'm going to put that just you know like a transition shade that was pretty good actually it kind of just went on very easily it wasn't that difficult to blend i'm going to take this shade right here called as rockstar and i'm going to put that in my outer crease area oh my god what's happening it's kind of just it's not blending that shade is really not blending in very well kind of just if you see that it's kind of sticking over here. I don't know why. It's not it's not easy to blend for sure. I'm gonna try it on this eye and see. It's kind of just sticking onto this area and it's not blending. Definitely not pigmented. It's very patchy, like I can see it getting like stuck on to certain areas and it's not moving. Next, I'm going to take this shade called as Framed from the Ring the Alarm palette and I'm again going to put that on top of this. Just stamp it in the corner and then blend it in. You see how patchy that is going? Next, I am going to go into this shade because this is such a gorgeous shade. I'm going to dip into this shade called as Gem. I'm going to put this here. I told you right the shimmer shades are actually pretty good okay, then I'm gonna put this over here and then I'm going to again put that in the, in the corner so I'm gonna go back into this rockstar shade okay and I am actually going to put that right above this shade here okay so I'm gonna take this shade and this is called as top secret Okay, and I am going to be putting that right over here. Just inside, not too much. Just to kind of give like a base. Okay. I'm going to kind of cut my crease. I've been loving to cut creases these days. Simply because it just looks very good. So next I'm going to take the Dark Magic palette. And I'm going to dip into this shade called a Shh. Okay. So... 
I'm going to put that on top of this to kind of set that concealer we applied. Should I take classified or trickery? So I'm going to take this shade trickery. I am going to go on top of this. Wow, well, that's pigmented. This is such a gorgeous green. It is pigmented and there's no doubt about it. It's super pigmented. But I would like to spritz it. And then put it right on top of this and see. Whoa, there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to dip into this shade called as Inside Job. And I'm going to kind of put it in between these two shades. So kind of it is like a very smooth transition. Then I'm going to go into this shade called as Mystic. Take a little bit of it and I am going to stamp it in my outer corner. I'm just going to go back into agent shade because I really want to blow the smoky eyes kind of you know on top I really wanted to give like a very orangey kind of look so and put that right here and that's it I'm gonna stop right there I am really really liking that look the only thing that's remaining is mystic I'm just going to take it out over here and kind of pull it out now what I'm going to do is just finish off my entire face and I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing then probably check out my Instagram. I might just upload this on my Instagram. So I'm going to take this shade called as Inside Job and I'm going to put that in my lower lash line. First I'm going to line it and then I'm going to see what to do next. So I'm going to just go here and just... So I'm going to then take this shade Rockstar because we use that as well. So I'm going to kind of just blend it into this. Then I'm just going to mix this shade Agent and I'm going to put that again in my lower lash line. Kind of blend everything because you know I don't want it to be so harsh. I'm going to take this shade called as Glossy Emerald and I'm going to put that in my waterline. Okay and I am also going to go ahead and kind of coat my lashes, my mascara. Um, and before that, I am going to be doing a winged eyeliner today because I want to do it. I just feel fancy. So, pretty vulgar. And I am going to create a winged eyeliner there. So, I am back finishing off my entire face. And to be honest, the quality of this Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette is not the best. It's not the same as the um, original Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, that being said, the shimmer shades are just awesome. Like, I really liked how the shimmer shades blended. I didn't have a problem in uh, blending them out at all. Although this shade right here called as Rockstar, it was a pain in the ass to blend, like really. It took so long initially though, but afterwards when I kind of just went in, I think it kind of just blended in where it, it blended it fine. It was not the easiest, but it did blend in. Now I have only tested out these shades, whatever I used today. I haven't tested out any more. What do you guys think? Did you guys like this look? And I honestly think it's an okay palette. It's not the best palette in the world. Like really, if even if you skip this. It's okay, honestly, but do not skip on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the original one. That is exceptional. This is just okay. The colors are really beautiful. I will be testing out more shades and let you guys know on my Instagram stories or something. But as of now, this is how the look is. I honestly liked how this look turned out. As I said, like the... Uh, the shimmer shades are very very pigmented. So yeah, that's pretty much it you guys my entire face makeup I will have it up on Instagram So make sure you're following me over there and if you like this video then don't forget to give this video a like Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit that notification button So you're notified every time I upload a video and follow me on my social media And if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I'll link them right here So you can check them out when I'm not here on YouTube Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, bye.